Hello, my name is Joe LeBay, and thank you for your interest in Ratchet X. This is the second video in the Ratchet X video series. Since you're here, I'm assuming you viewed the first video and decided the Ratchet X value proposition was powerful enough to warrant a closer look. Well, that's great. We like to hear that. Now that you know what Ratchet X is, let's take a brief look at the framework's underlying constructs and how they work together. The image you're currently looking at represents a high-level depiction of the Ratchet X architecture. The panel on the left is called the user desktop. This panel represents the place where an application's user interface is physically presented to the user regardless of how the application is architected in terms of tiers and database location or whether it's delivered through a browser or a traditional 32-bit Windows client. The only aspect of an application that RatchetX needs access to in order to function is the user interface. The panel to the right is called external services. Although we use the term services, in reality, this panel represents all the web services, websites, APIs, databases, and forms you might want to integrate into your desktop applications. To summarize, the desktop panel represents the applications with which you interact every day at the desktop, and the external services panel represents all the various sources of information you want to integrate into the applications you use. This leaves the center panel, which is aptly named the RatchetX framework. Within the framework panel, we will focus our attention specifically on the following three components, app spaces, plugins, and the commander. Let's start with the app space. The cornerstone of the RatchetX framework is the app space. An app space is a collection of application screens, UI elements, and fields grouped in accordance with the way you work for the purposes of extracting data from and pasting data to application screens. The app space is the mechanism that allows RatchetX to unobtrusively integrate with applications from the outside in. The app space acts as a proxy for the application screens you use so they can be integrated without requiring any changes to the application. An app space can range in definition from one field on one application screen to hundreds of fields that span multiple applications. It's really up to you in the way you work. You can create app spaces using the RatchetX app space editor or you can download pre-configured app spaces from RatchetSoft or any number of third-party providers. Once you create an app space, you need to register that app space with the Commander. Commander is the primary user-facing component of the RatchetX framework. Think of Commander as an instant messenger for applications. An instant messenger application serves as your communications hub between you and your buddies in terms of notifications, buddy selection, and the setting of parameters that govern how those communications are conducted. Commander performs the same function with respect to the applications running on your desktop. For example, Commander notifies you when it detects that an integration can be performed between running applications and existing external services via the placement of a Ratchet X button in the integrated application's title bar. It also allows you to set specific parameters that govern the nature of these integrations. App Spaces and Commander working in tandem allow external services to be integrated with your existing software. But what are these external services that I'm talking about? Well, in RatchetX parlance, these services are called plugins. Technically, a plugin is an application developed in your language of choice that integrates with the framework through the RatchetX SDK. From the user's perspective, plugins embody the new capabilities added to existing applications. Simply put, plugins are the reasons you use RatchetX in the first place. In the What is RatchetX video, you saw a CRM system perform an address verification and gather corporate demographic data. This functionality was provided by a plugin that linked an address verification web service and a corporate demographics web service into my CRM system. While RatchetX is always busy working on new and useful plugin products, you're free to create your own plugins or purchase plugins from any number of third party providers. Finally, since plugins often acquire data or documents that were not intended to be housed in the application you're using, it's possible the application won't have a field to which you can paste acquired data. No problem. RatchetX comes equipped with a storage facility that allows you to attach data and documents to an application's record. For example, take our CRM demonstration from the What is RatchetX video. Let's assume that when we added a new company to our system, we also wanted to call a credit service and acquire a credit rating for the company we added. 
Since the CRM system did not possess a field to store the rating, we could use Ratchet X Storage to house the rating and link it to the new company record so that any time we navigate back to that company's record in the CRM system, Ratchet X will automatically retrieve the credit rating as well. Just think of it. Via Ratchet X, every application can now have user-defined fields without changing the application in any way. That's pretty cool. So that's it. You now have a high-level understanding of how Ratchet X works. Let's quickly review. The applications you use on a daily basis are integrated into the Ratchet X framework via AppSpaces. AppSpaces are created using our AppSpace editor. Plugins embody the capabilities you want to add to existing applications. Acquiring a credit report, displaying a map, or checking to see if a phone number is on a do not call list are just three examples. What a plugin does is up to you. Plugins are developed in your language of choice via our SDK. Plugins and app spaces are linked by a desktop application called the Commander. Commander watches your desktop looking to link app spaces with plugin functionality. So that's how Ratchet X works. For more details, please feel free to visit our website, drop us an email, or give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again for your time, and I hope to speak with you soon.